Hello, my name is Len and I've been your Chief Executive at Cardiff and Vale for a little over six months now. I would like to say that I'm delighted to be here and that Jackie, my wife and I have settled into our new house in Rabina and we've been made to feel very welcome by everyone. In my first six months, I've had the opportunity to get out and about and meet many of you, our staff and patients. And without exception, I've been impressed by the professionalism and the commitment shown by you all. I've also spent some time with our partners, the two local authorities, universities, Welsh Government and other health boards. It is this partnership working that enables us to keep delivering a quality health service for our population. People are now living longer, very often with complex needs, much broader than health, which requires a multidisciplinary approach. So we need to consistently review the way in which we do things to see if through clinical advancements, innovation and technology, there's a better way in which to deliver health services to our population. I've now had the opportunity to see for myself where our strategy shaping our future well-being is put to good use. I think it's a good strategy and clearly sets out the 10-year vision and strategic direction of the health board. Empowering the person, home first, enabling people to be treated in their own homes or as close to it as possible. As your Chief Executive, my aim is to continue with this direction and our priorities remain the same. I am delighted to see some excellent improvements to our performance. I believe that no patient should have to wait 52 weeks for an operation and I am pleased that we've completely eliminated this for paediatric surgery. We have the busiest emergency unit in Wales and yet we have the lowest volume of patients waiting 12 hours or more. It's important to acknowledge we are making steps in the right direction, but I still believe that we can do more. As reducing the time our patients wait for treatment and how we interact with them makes a real difference to patient care. Our performance is always reflected in the experience that patients have when they stay with us and recent figures indicate 83% of patients tell us they've had a good or positive patient experience with us. This is a great indicator of how well you are dealing with our patients and services on an everyday basis. As a health board, we've made significant inroads in the money and we're currently forecasting an end of year deficit of 30.9 million. This is in line with our commitment to Welsh Government and represents an improvement on last year. We must continue to focus on this as over the next three years, we must get ourselves into a sustainable position and demonstrate financial balance. Like every other NHS organisation in the UK, we are consistently looking to modernise our services, making them more efficient and effective. I believe we will improve our position significantly over the next three years. One of the ways in which I plan to do this is through the transformation of services, how we deliver them and how we use innovation to improve clinical practice and outcomes in the future. I've been particularly impressed by the work developed in Canterbury District Health Board in New Zealand, who have a very similar demographic and social mix to us. We also have a very similar vision to them, however they have been on this journey for 10 years prior to us and can demonstrate very tangible results. I believe there is a lot that we can learn from Canterbury and they can learn from us. I have seen a number of fantastic initiatives since I've been here at Cardiff and Vale. The work done across all of the clinical service boards is vast and has a significant impact on patient care. I have seen countless examples of the great work you do. Far too many to mention, but some of that have stood out are those relating to dementia care, sepsis, mental health and rehabilitation in the community. Again, enabling people to stay at home. There has been a significant number of official awards and recognition of this work and wherever possible I try to highlight these in my Chief Exec Connects and in CAV You've Heard. 
This year sees the 25th anniversary of the opening of the MediCenter and how many researchers and clinical innovators are at the forefront in leading clinical and technological advancements to greatly improve patient care. But I've also been impressed by those in clinical and non-clinical roles. The service board staff, managers, administrative staff and our army of volunteers and also our health charity who all work tirelessly to keep services open and accessible for patients. I will continue to look forward to speaking with you as I walk the floors of UHW and UHL on the night shifts with our colleagues from Unison and the health charity. During my first six months, we have faced a number of significant and high profile challenges. The Wales Audit Office and the Human Tissue Authority both criticised the Health Board, which has not reflected on us well as an organisation. In both of these cases, it was disappointing that the issues were avoidable. We must as individuals and organisationally ensure we have relentless good management, follow compliance and put ourselves in a stronger position. So the first six months has been incredibly busy and next year will be no different. We have a series of significant service transformations such as thoracic services and we also began the consultation on the major trauma network for Wales. We are now in the last stages of consultation before a final decision is made as to whether the location of the major trauma centre and its subsequent network to serve South and West Wales and South Powys is at UHW or Morriston. This will have a significant impact upon another challenge we face, which is the future of services at UHW, which as many of you know is quickly outgrowing its original footprint. The decision will act as an enabler for a further piece of work on what we are able to provide on this site and what we can effectively and safely provide elsewhere. All of this will need very careful consideration and will be done in discussion with staff and services at the appropriate time. At the same time, we are involved in some really dynamic and innovative work around genomics across South East Wales. And over the next few months, I'll be able to share with you more about this growing area of precision medicine. So a lot has been done and continues to be done across Cardiff and Bale. My reflections are mainly positive and I continue to be deeply impressed by your professionalism. Health is a tough area of business and it is you who help us to deliver our health services. I have also been impressed by how people approach their work here. The vast majority of people that we come into contact with are at a low ebb and on a daily basis we see our values being played out at every level. Caring and kindness shown to patients and each other. Going the extra mile and taking personal responsibility for a situation, job or a patient. As many of you know, I have been privileged to have worked around the world in health and I've seen many health systems and processes and worked with many thousands of staff. I firmly believe that as a health board and system, we can achieve the best results when we do things together, collectively, as a team. I have seen this over the past few months with the Herculean effort that everyone has made in helping us achieve the 60% flu target, which we are well on our way to not just meeting, but exceeding. In these first six months, I have felt proud to be the Chief Exec at Cardiff and the Bale UHB. There is a lot to be proud of, and I would like to thank all of you, regardless of your role or position, for the contribution that you make in making it a great place to work, helping us care for people and keeping them well. I hope to meet many more of you in 2018.